This is Peter from Aces Deals, and we are located here in New York in the United States. And I wanted to uh, create a series of videos, or this is what I'm going to be doing, is creating a, a series of videos in conjunction with uh, Lucky Crew, the original creator of the ImageR software. And we're going to be going over uh, several of the different aspects of ImageR, that you can use to prepare your images for laser engraving. So right off the bat, what I want to make everyone aware of is I currently am working on a Mac desktop system. The laser that I use is the Beambox 40 watt laser, but this software can be used to create and um, put together images ready to be laser engraved for any laser. So some of the things I may be talking about may not relate to your laser, but keep in mind, this is just the basics. So there are going to be several videos we're going to do on this software and the different aspects of things that you can do with it. So um, let's get right down to it. So to find the software, you would go to, and I'm going to use my mouse here, all right? You would go to www image imag-r.com. Now there's a free online version and then there's a paid online version. And I use the paid online version. It's costing me $5 a month in US dollars, which is absolutely phenomenal. And what the paid version does is it gets rid of the ads that are in the free version. I see a lot of people sometimes posting uh, that there's, you know, too many ads or it's it's uh, the ads are a pain in the neck. But you got to understand a lot of work has been put into this program by Lucky Crew uh, himself. And, you know, for the fact that he offers a free version is absolutely phenomenal. Um, but then you also have the option to use the paid online version. So um, <clears throat> let's get going here. Uh, in the software here, when you go to the website, you have the image R, you have contour, which is one of the features which allows you to create an outline from any PNG file. We have the puzzle feature, which is a, a new feature uh, that allows you to take an image and prepare it to make a laser engraved forward slash cut puzzle. And the first video we're going to be working on is, you know, how to make a simple puzzle. All right. You have the masking capability, so you can mask out a specific part of your image, which is absolutely awesome. All right. The slicer program. That's for you guys that want to make bigger images. This is a new feature, BG removal or background removal. You take an original image. In this case, as you can see here on his website, here are some examples. This is what the original image looked like, you know, with the background. But when you run it through background removal, you just have the image that you want, all right? Cartoonizer, again, another new feature, takes an image and you can cartoon it to give you some of the desired effects, okay? And then, of course, there is the offline version. And let's see what, oops, something went wrong there. I apologize, but, you know, we'll just get back to that, all right? So we'll just close that page for now. So. But like I said, there's many different things you can do here with his software. It's incredible. I love it. I've been using it for many, many months. Every single image we use when we do laser engraving, we come here first to Image R. So my hat's off to you. I give you a standing ovation, Lucky. This is an absolutely great program to work with. So let's click on the puzzle. All right, want to make some puzzles? So here's what we're going to do. So you scroll down a little bit, and you've got a couple of things here that you can work with. Tab size, that's these things right here on a puzzle piece. The angle, that's again here. You can change the angle of the puzzle piece uh, connector, and I'm going to show you. Uh, corner radius, and then if you want to do four puzzle pieces, you know, four by four, you know, four across, like you see here in the picture, four across, four up and down. All right. And of course, you can make your puzzle any size you want. 200 millimeters, uh, if I remember correctly. And I'm going to double check right now. Alexa, what is 
400 millimeters converted to inches. 400 millimeters is about 16 inches. I'm sorry, I think I misread that. Alexa, convert 200 millimeters to inches. Alexa, convert 200 millimeters to inches. 200 millimeters is about 8 inches. Okay, so... Did that answer your question? Yes, it did. Thank you, Alexa. So 200 millimeters, we're looking at an 8 by 8 puzzle piece, all right? And I and, and please forgive me, here in the United States, uh, we're still on the old standard system where our uh, friends across the sea um, uses the metric system. 90% of the world uses the metric system. So um, so we're looking at a standard 8 by 8 piece, uh, uh, you know, puzzle. So like I said, let's go back to tab size. And if you look at when I increase this, I just made the tabs bigger, as you can see. We can change the angle of the puzzle piece. Let's, uh, there you go. All right, we're going to bring it back a little bit, a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to eight pieces across by six inches. And there we go. Okay. So we have eight pieces across, six inches down, uh, six pieces down. And it's so simple. We're going to download this as an SVG file. Okay. So now that has been completed. Okay. So now we're going to go and get our image. And we're going to use the image R software for this image. So here's a great site that you can do everything in one place, all right? So we upload our image. And what I'm going to do, so you can see our files. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> getting ready for a hurricane tomorrow. It's going to be hitting us here in New York. So, but here is my image. It takes a couple of seconds for it to, to load. But here's the image. This is a Google image. It's an American Eagle with the American flag in the background. Okay. You can crop the image. In this case, we're going to leave it alone. You can round the edges if you want. So, but we're just going to leave it and we're going to close it. I'm going to leave it alone. All right. You can resize the image, but again, um, I'm going to leave it alone. But the DPI, you always want a minimum 318 minimum. All right. Hit OK. And there it is. You have your original image on the left side of the screen. And then you have the increased DPI image on the right hand side and you can see the difference it's a slight difference but it's there okay so um you can add text if you want but we're not going to do that now so the important part is the material we're going to go to material i have a co2 laser but again if you have a diode laser all right um i'm going to choose a co2 laser i'm going to be doing wood i'm making a wooden puzzle so we're going to hit okay and what it does is it's going to transform the image into a laserable ready image. And you can see the difference here. All right. We're going to download it. And I always download, this is me personally. All right. But you can download anything you want, a bitmap, a JPEG, a PNG. I find working with PNGs, you know, works very, very well for me. So now we have both um, the puzzle and the uh PNG ready for the laser. Everyone, we're now beginning phase two, where we're going to open up, in my case, the BMO Studio software, uh, because I'm using a BMO laser, and we're going to import in the SVG and import in the uh, image that was prepared through ImageR for laser engraving. 
all right? So this is, a, we're using a Beambox 40 watt laser. This is the screen, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. All right, the work area. First thing we have to do in this case, I don't know how you do it with your laser, depending on what you have. We're taking a picture of our um, honeycomb bed. And give me a, about 30 seconds for it to connect to the laser. This is a wireless uh, laser machine. I love it. And we're going to take a photograph of the laser bed so we can place our image. And hopefully I highlight it enough so I can capture the whole piece of wood, which I did. As you can see, here's the edge of the wood. Right here, you'll see an orange piece uh, or an orange thing. That's our honeycomb uh, clip. It's made out of acrylic. We made it out of scrap acrylic. And what it does is you place them strategically around your item and it, it clips right into the honeycomb bed and makes it nice and tight so the piece of wood or whatever it is you're working on will not move because of vibration, the air assist, or whatever. It keeps the, in this case, the three millimeter birch in check and in place, all right? And in about a couple seconds, we're going to see the, um, there it is, the second honeycomb clip. And it's almost done taking the picture. And there is our um, piece of three millimeter birch, okay? And if you notice along the top, it's cut unevenly. We're not worried about it because we're going to be making a cut for the frame of the puzzle, okay? So we're done with that. And now we're going to bring in our... SVG. <laughs> I should have uh, music playing. <laughs> there we go. All right. So here's our jigsaw. SVG. Going to click on it. Open it up. Click on color. In my case, I'm clicking on color. Going to load the image. And there is the puzzle. All right, wait for it to fully load. Bring it down. And there it is. It fits perfectly. Okay. And there's our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by six pieces down. Okay. And we'll bring in the image. And if you remember, we had the American Eagle, downloaded it as a PNG. There it is. And yes, it is a different color. All right. I mean, it's the same color. So we're going to have to change that. So we're going to go to our puzzle. We're going to go to presets in this case. And uh, this is three millimeter wood uh, cutting my power. I don't need 60. I'm going to bring it down to... 50. Okay. And then we're going to, in my case, I'm adding a layer, which is going to be, I'll just rename and I'll just put image to make life simpler. But again, depending on what you're using, light burn or whatever, um, you know, you figure out how you're going to do this. Okay. So I'm going to take the image and I'm moving it to image. Do I want to do that? Yes, I do. And it changes it to a uh, engravable color for me so I can differentiate. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do here, uh, because I want to make the uh, image basically, you know, uh, cover the puzzle. I'm going to unlock it. And you might have, if you have that ability in your software, whatever. And it'll allow me to, you know, stretch it out. I'll bring it to the edge. Might as well. And there we go. There we go. And I'm going to lock it. And now we have the engravable image on the puzzle. Now, some people may want to cut the puzzle first, then engrave the image. I'm going to do it at the same time. So I have to make sure, double check my preset. It is set. I'm going to go to my image and it's going to be wood engraving. And it's going to be a power of 25. And I'm going to slow the speed down to 120. 
millimeters per second. Okay, so I'm going to click on start. It's going to analyze it. And according to the BMO software in conjunction with the 40 watt BMO, it's going to take one hour and 35 minutes to engrave this. So I'll see you in about an hour and 35 minutes. We're going to hit start. Alexa set timer for one hour, 37 minutes. One hour and 37 minutes, starting now. I just wanted to show you the BMO 40 watt laser in action. And right now it is currently laser engraving the American Eagle with the flag behind it. And I'm gonna see if I can get a, show you a little bit. There's the top of the flag. It's engraving the image first and then it will cut out the puzzle pieces. The job itself is gonna take approximately an hour and a half. And we're 35 minutes into uh, the project itself. So stay tuned, pretty soon you'll see the finished product. Okay, so one hour and 30 minutes later, our eight by eight puzzle is done. This puzzle contains 46 pieces. You've got the uh, American Eagle with the American flag behind it. And what we did also is, besides laser engraving the puzzle pieces and engraving the image, we made a border frame and I'm gonna to try to lift it up so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's a, a small little, there it is. As you can see, it's a border. Here's the corner. Okay, there's the corner piece. This is a three millimeter birch and it just engraved and cut beautifully. Um, this is a great software. As I said, you know, uh, to use the ImageR.com, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the ImageR software, and you can find that at www.image-r.com. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like it. We've got more tutorials coming on using this fantastic software online. And if, if your budget allows it, guys, get the paid version. Get rid of the ads and everything else. You know, they're not, they won't be in the way. And it just gives you a nice clean interface when you're working. And our next uh, tutorial should be up in the next couple of days. Let me know how you, what you think about it. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again for watching. This is Peter Ellen from Aces Deals. And you can find us at www.acesdeals.net. And if you're in the U.S. and if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to call me at 888 Two three nine two six four four. Again, Peter Ellen signing off. Have a great evening, and thank you, Lucky, for allowing me to do this for you.